Welcome to the 2020 John C. Fremont High School Virtual Commencement Ceremony. Like all of you, I am delighted to be here today. As the principal of Fremont High School, I would like to welcome an honored guest, our faculty and support staff, and especially our graduates and their family and friends. Our graduating seniors have worked very hard for this moment, but they could not have done it without you and your support. So I congratulate you as well. It is now my pleasure to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Lathrop, Fremont High School Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Instructor. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Lathrop will lead the introduction of colors. Hey y'all, so we're gonna do the Pledge of Allegiance now. Get your right hand, put it over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Oh, say can you So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Austin Buechner, Superintendent of Los Angeles Unified School District, wishing every member of the class of 2020 heartfelt congratulations. Every graduating class inherits a world of challenges and opportunities. Yours, maybe more than most. There's a lot of talk right now about a new normal and what that might be. But don't be satisfied with normal. Strive for extraordinary. The future is in your very capable hands, and we're counting on you to do great things. Congratulations. Congratulations to our local District South Class of 2020 graduates. My name is Michael Romero and I'm your proud Local District South Superintendent. Local District South encompasses 150 schools from the Watts Willow Brook area all the way down to the harbor, serving almost 100,000 students. You have reached a milestone for which recognition is in order today. Without doubt, you have completed many hours of hard work and overcome many obstacles in order to reach this moment of honor. Please be assured that the next 10 years will come pretty fast, a lot faster than the last few. The trick is to spend your years wisely. Spend them obtaining the experience for which your diploma cannot substitute. Spend them demonstrating your worth to your family, friends, employees, and others in the community. Always spend them learning, whether formally at a college or informally through your life experiences. Learning does not end today with your graduation. 
Remember to learn about your world and the people in it and how you bring value to their lives. Learn about your job and how to do your job better. But most importantly, learn about yourself and about what you can offer to those people around you. Your senior year is over, but your lives are just beginning. I wish all of you a lifetime of happiness and health and prosperity. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2020. Greetings, Pathfinders. You have come to the moment of truth in your life. Very often, the moment of truth is connected with the idea of knowing your potential. At Fremont High School, we know your potential. And we send you forward with great confidence into a world that is full of challenges. But above all, a world full of opportunities opportunities to succeed in any path that you will set your heart on. You, Pathfinder, will find the path to make this a better world. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Felicidades, Clases del Año 2020. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and Class of 2020. I am Ms. Espinosa, Assistant Principal of Sigma and of Fremont High School. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you, Pathfinders, the Class of 2020, for your momentous accomplishments. I am proud of you beyond words, your resilience, and your fortitude. I know in my heart that you will go forward and do great things in our society and in our world. You are destined for greatness. Remember, this pandemic does not define you. You are the master of your own destiny. Go forth and conquer. Go forth and make a difference in our society and in our world as the beautiful people that you are. You will forever be in our hearts. We will never forget you. Felicidades, graduados. Estoy muy orgullosa de ustedes y sus logros. Yo sé que han luchado y se han esforzado a llegar a este día. Felicidades. Adelante, Pathfinder. Clase del año 2020. Congratulations, Pathfinders. Class of 2020. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to introduce to you our keynote speaker, our very own John C. Fremont Pathfinder, Class of 1963, Dr. Reuben Warren. Congratulations to the Fremont High School graduating class of 2020. You are pathfinders in an unprecedented time. I graduated from Fremont in 1963. And I must thank Fremont High Principal Blanca Escobar and your assistant principal, Mr. Mike DeMu, and many of my Fremont High School schoolmates, particularly Mr. Alvin Rambo and Mr. Murad Rahman, for providing me the opportunity to virtually talk with you today. The famous black writer, James Baldwin, wrote, your crown has been bought and paid for. All you have to do is put it on your head. Iyana Van Zant, black inspirational speaker, lawyer, new thought leader, author, life coach, and television personality. In her book, Acts of Faith, responds when she writes, there is nothing that is too good for you. There is nothing that you want that doesn't already exist. There is nothing that exists that you don't have. 
There is nothing that anyone has that you cannot have. There is nothing more powerful, more intelligent, more beautiful, and more sacred than you. You are the stuff that life is made of. You are the essence of life. You have been chosen at this time, at this place, to be among the living. You come from a long life of successful, of successful human beings. You are one of the king's kids, born in the world to inherit the kingdom. You are equipped to handle anything. You live by grace, built by love. You are the cause and the reason for life. You see, you are one of one with the source. You are creative, you are alive. And she says, what else could possibly matter? Today on this day, June the 12th, you are graduating from Fremont High School in Los Angeles, California. I celebrate you. As a Fremont Pathfinder, claim your divine inheritance. This is your day, your graduation commencement day from Fremont High School. Others will graduate from high school this year but on this day, at this time, in this place, we celebrate you. I know many people who also graduated from Fremont. We did it our way during our time. In one way, you are a Fremont legacy. But in another way, you are a legacy in and of yourself. You're starting your own legacy. You've done some things that others have done. But your combination of experiences, the way you've experienced them, is unique to you. You must have the courage to do new things and go new places so you can grow beyond what many would expect. Learn to listen as well as to talk. You know, it's really hard to listen and talk at the same time. Learn to listen as well as to talk. But remember, you are equipped to handle anything. You are in a generation that has really inherited a mess. But I'm not worried. I believe that your generation has the capacity to straighten things out if you listen and learn from the mistakes of the other generations. As I look at what is currently happening in this country, this at this time, as a result of the murder of George Floyd by the police in Minneapolis, Minnesota, I'm reminded of 1965 and the Watts Revolt. I and many of my schoolmates were there. You must listen in order to not repeat the mistakes of the past. There are life lessons to be learned from the past. Find and talk to elder Fremont alumni. We're around. Be a good listener. Remember what Ayanna Van Zandt said. You are equipped to handle anything. As I said earlier, I graduated from Fremont High School in 1963. For Fremont helped equip me to do many things and to handle anything. Since graduating, I earned a BA in biology from San Francisco State University, a Doctor of Dental Surgery degree from Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee, a Master's of Public Health degree and a Doctor of Public Health degree, and a teaching fellowship from the Harvard School of Dental Public Health. A clinical fellowship in dental public health from the Harvard School of Dental Medicine in Boston, Massachusetts, and a master's degree in divinity from the Interdenominational Theological Center in Atlanta, Georgia. 
I also was awarded the Distinguished Harvard Alumni Award from the School of Dental Medicine and an Honorary Doctor of Medical Sciences and a Doctor of Humane Letters from the Harry Medical College, both in Knightsville, Tennessee. You may think that all I've done since graduating from Fremont is to go to school, but I'm a lifelong learner. And I've used my education to enable me to make positive contributions to society. I began my career in Lagos, Nigeria at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital. You know, we live in one world and we, and our education enables us to make contributions wherever and whenever you choose. When I returned to the United States, I taught at Harvard, the University of Connecticut, became the Mississippi State Dental Director, and then the Dean of the School of Dentistry at Meharry Medical College. Finally, I spent 20 years at the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia. When I retired from CDC, I went back to school and earned another degree, a Master's in Divinity. Currently, I'm the director of the National Center for Bioethics in Research and Healthcare at Tuskegee University. I've lived abroad, traveled abroad, married, raised a family, and helped many others along the way. I share my journey with you so you will know that you are equipped to do anything that you desire to do after graduating from Fremont High School. Many of my Fremont High School schoolmates have gone on to do extraordinary things. The beautiful part about it is that we may live all over the world, but we maintain our connection. And I hope that you will also. Remember, we are pathfinders forever. Well, I charge you to have a vision. Look beyond what is to what ought to be. I charge you to have courage, even when you're in the midst of the unknown. I believe that God is omniscient, omnipresent, and omniscient. God knows everything. There is much left for you to learn and to do. Discovery is an extraordinary experience. I charge you to be persistent and tenacious. As young, mostly people of color, students of color, others will try to deny you. But remember, Van Zandt wrote, there is nothing that exists that is too good for you. I charge you to remain humble. Humility is a gift that keeps on giving. I charge you to do your best in whatever you do. Your best may not be good enough for others, but it ought to be good enough for you, and I'm sure it is for those who love you. I, char I charge you to commit to improve the conditions of people who need your help. And at the end of the day, we are all we have. We are all we have. You know, I've charged you with many, many things. But I know, I truly know, we live by grace, built by love. Most of all, Fremont High School graduating class 2020. I give you love. Thanks and God bless. I'm Yvonne Gonzalez, Sigma Academic Counselor. We want to honor and congratulate the students who have earned graduation with honors and high honors at this point. En este momento queremos felicitar a los estudiantes que han logrado con sus esfuerzos y dedicación a sus estudios graduarse con honores y altos honores. We commend you for your hard work and we encourage you to continue to pursue your goals 
with as much as effort as you have put forth during high school. If you are graduating with honors or high honors, would you please stand right now so we can applaud you? Congratulations, felicidades. Hi, I know that you probably don't know who I am. And honestly, that's a good thing because if you did, you know that I'm not the most ideal valedictorian. I mean, I didn't always get straight A's and I never really joined any clubs or sports. And I didn't even know I was valedictorian until last year. And if that isn't enough, the highest education I'm planning on getting is only community college. So I know what you're thinking. Why? Why are you valedictorian if you didn't even need it? And I'll tell you why. My secret is this. If you love learning, be super competitive, and do something new, you won't have to try so hard. And you'll most likely accomplish things you didn't really work for. Doing that is what got me here. First, you have to love learning. I think that to be educated, you have to be ready to ask why and how and do the most to get those answers. And you can only really do that if you love learning. That's me. <laughs> I wanted to know everything about anything. I like learning so much those times I was excited to do homework. And wanting to learn is the only reason I put up with Erismendi's opera in the morning and hearing Eddie's questions in Ms. Gomez's factory room it was because I wanted to know about our nation's history and globalism and how Spanish literature changed over the years. I honestly didn't care that these AP classes boosted my GPA and it was not caring that allowed me to be curious on my own. It's interesting to me what Mr. Rosa said once and I even wrote it down because I thought it was smart. He said, there's nothing wrong with getting smarter, ever. Guys, today, through the weirdest way, we're graduating, but this isn't as smart as we're gonna get. We'll need to keep learning even when we're not in school. And especially now with everything that's going on around us. So think about it. What's something you can learn more about now? It can be a variety of things. You can learn more about the world we live in or how to create new friendships and network anywhere you go. Or you can learn a new language or learn how to make a bomb carne asada. It doesn't really matter what you learn. There's nothing wrong with getting smarter, ever. And once you enjoy getting smarter and enjoy asking why and how, you'll keep growing years after today but you also have to be competitive. I was, but I didn't compete against you. No, remember, I never even thought about being valedictorian. No, you have to compete with yourself. How? I'll give you an example. Um, in 10th grade, I was in AP World History with Ms. Johnston, and the class was nice. We had fun too. We played Kahoot, you know? And, um, 
I remember that sometime around May, someone came in and said that the AP World History Test was the hardest test of all of them and that no one had passed it in like three, four years. And when I heard that, I freaked out because I realized that I hadn't learned a single thing the entire year. And I was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to pass the test? No one has been able to pass. But another competitive part of me just said, bet. And just like that, I made notes on the notes Ms. Johnson gave us. And I had this fast stack that I studied for two whole weeks every single day. For two whole weeks, I studied just to prove myself wrong that I couldn't pass this test. And to pass an AP exam, you need to get a score of three out of five. On the AP World History, I got a four. See, the society we live in tries to make us compete for the best paycheck or for the best prize or who gets the most attention. We don't have to compete against others to be able to be good. We have to compete against ourselves, our doubts, our limits, our flaws. Not so that you can be the best at something, but so you can be the best version of yourself. Doing that is what gave me the motivation to do what other people thought was hard. And if you compete against yourself, you'll have that same drive. But finally, to ask questions and be driven, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. And that might be hard because I realize that a lot of people like to, stick, like to stick to the things they know. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes, though, you need to take a chance. I'll give you another example. You know how every year uh, you get to choose the classes you want the following year? So in 10th grade, there was this option to take a healthcare college kind of class. And Mr. Tao, my counselor at the time, told us that this class was legit. Like if you took a test, you could get certified and then you could get a job and you know make, eventually make some money. But he also said that it was hard and that we would have to be committed to it. Um, I knew next to nothing about this class. I didn't even want to be in the healthcare field, but I was curious. So of course I signed up to take it for 11th grade and it was nothing like I thought it would be. To give you an idea of how crazy this class was, in the beginning, the class had 20 something students and by the end, there was only nine. And it was hard and it required a lot of time and sacrifice. But today I can finally and proudly say that I'm a certified nursing assistant and I'll be studying to become a vocational nurse. It was taking that risk that changed my whole future. And ahead of all of us are gonna be situations like these, paths and opportunities that's gonna be presented to us that we won't know anything about. And it'll scare you. I'm not saying it won't. And it may require effort but you won't know what it'll result in if you don't try. Don't live with regrets. What you, can, what you do can be something small, like showing your face on Zoom so that it's not awkward when the teacher asks a question, you know? It can be taking a Zumba class on your own. Or it can be opening the door to the Jehovah Witnesses and listening what they have to say for once. But once you start having the courage to try something new, no matter how small or hard it seems, your life will slowly start to change too. It'll be hard to learn and compete against yourself and try new things if you don't have help. I didn't get here on my own. So you'll need teachers like Farley to believe in you before you believe in yourself. Like Gomez to be passionate about what she teaches while also being your friend. Like Rosas to show you how not to be the average Joe and answer all your whys and hows with all the seriousness and respect in the world. And like Gray, thank you Gray, for adopting me as one of your students to play chess and family feud with me when you didn't have to. You'll need people like Ingrid, Yaslin, Saida, Leslie, Kim, and Lucia to make hard what's feel like fun and give you the homework when you need it. Thanks guys. Um, and you'll need people like my parents and family People who will love you and support you every day in all their small ways.
fellow class of 2020, I want to remind you that this speech isn't to show you how to succeed in school or to show you how to change the world and so on. I share these things with you to show you how to build the curiosity, the drive, and the courage to fill yourself with wonder and personal growth, no matter where you go or where you are. College won't outright teach you that. It has to start with you. If you get anything out of my speech, let it be this. If you love learning, be super competitive and do new things, you won't have to try so hard at doing amazing things. It got me to be valedictorian. Where will it get you? Thank you. Congratulations, Pathfinders, class of 2020. I'm standing in front of a 19... 74 Fremont High School t-shirt. My name is Martha Mimoni, and 46 years ago, I walked in your shoes by graduating from Fremont as a pathfinder. Always pursue your dreams and passions. Remember what the mind conceive, the body will achieve. Never give in, never give up, never throw in the towel. Don't believe in the naysayers, believe in yourself. I too am graduating in 2020 at USC, the school across town with a doctor of education in educational leadership. I am confident that you can also attend college and accomplish all your dreams by the grace of God. In conclusion, it's never too late. Find a path or make one. Onward and fight on. Lastly, see, see pictures behind me from 1974 to 2020. Thank you all for coming to our virtual graduation ceremony. My name is Blanca Esquivel, and I have the honor and privilege to serve this graduating class of 2020 as the proud principal of John C. Fremont High School. To the graduates of John C. Fremont class of 2020, a graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. So it is only fitting that today we commemorate the path that we have all traveled together these last few years, especially these last few months. This is a most special graduation to me as we have experienced many challenges together in the life of Fremont High School. It has been a journey that started with tentative steps, perhaps, but one that has taken us to remarkable heights. We have encountered some trials and tribulations along the way amidst this global pandemic of COVID-19 and distance learning, yet we soldiered on to come out the stronger Class of 2020, you are not only known as a graduating class who made milestones in history as the world addressed an unprecedented time of social distancing and safer at home orders where living rooms became classrooms for many. You are also known as a united class that the entire world cheer you on to graduate we have experienced exceptional moments, magical moments, and created moments that will be fondly remembered in the years ahead. Henry Ford wisely said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. As we look back over the last few years, certainly there was a beginning, and thankfully there was also progress, and yes, Undeniably, we have been successful. But let's begin where all the good stories begin, at the beginning. We began school as children, but we're leaving here as young adults. We've completed a high school education that will serve as a platform we use to launch ourselves into our future. Some of us will go on to college, others will go straight into the workforce, but each of us will travel our own path, no matter where we go or what we do. There are challenges ahead of us. What I am asking from each of you 
is to meet those challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart wide open. It is not enough to simply try to get by in life. That doesn't move the world forward. You must try to excel in everything you do, strive for excellence in every task, large or small. Although it may not be easy to see, every accomplishment you achieve is added to the world's accomplishments. Class of 2020, you are also known for your resilience. Steadfast, resolute, and determined, we all kept together. Day by day, we focused on our goal, keeping together and working together. We faced some incredible and memorable moments, moments that we choose to use as the stepping stones as we tenaciously pursued our common goals and what progress we made. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are ready, willing, and more than able to grasp the torch we bestowed upon you. Yours is the future and on you the world will come to depend. May your years ahead continue to be characterized by empathy, compassion, objectivity, and commitment to excellence. May you always lead by example and work hard and play straight. May your successes be many, your tribulations be few and far between. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and a privilege watching your progress and success. The end result of our coming together, keeping together and working together, in spite of the obstacles that we may have faced along the way, that end result is a graduating class of 2020. My, how proud we are of the success that you have made with the opportunities that you were afforded. Congratulations, we are extremely proud of you all. Once a Pathfinder, always a Pathfinder. Pathfinder for life. Remember to always find your path or make one. Congratulations, class of 2020. Gracias a todos por venir a nuestra ceremonia de graduación virtual. Mi nombre es Blanca Esquivel y tengo el honor y el privilegio de servir a esta clase de graduados del 2020. Como la orgullosa directora de la escuela secundaria John C. Freeman. Para los graduados de esta clase, una ceremonia de graduación es siempre una ocasión muy especial. La culminación de años de arduo trabajo, la actualización de los objetivos alcanzados y el reconocimiento de los éxitos logrados. Por lo tanto, es apropiado que hoy comencemos el camino que todos hemos recorrido juntos en estos últimos años, especiales en estos últimos meses. Esta es una graduación muy especial para mí, ya que hemos experimentado muchos desafíos juntos en la vida de Freeman High School. Ha sido un viaje que comenzó con pasos tenativos, tal vez, pero que nos han llevado a alturas notables. Hemos encontrado algunas pruebas y tribulaciones en el camino en medio de esta pandemia global del COVID-19 y al aprendizaje a distancia. Sin embargo, seguimos adelante y salimos más fuertes. Clase del 2020 no solo se te conoce como la clase que se graduó, que marcó grandes hitos y historia a medida que el mundo abordó un momento sin precedentes de distanciamientos sociales y más seguro en casa para enfrentar esta pandemia. Las salas de estar se convirtieron en aulas para muchos. También eres conocido como la clase unida en la que el mundo entero te animó a graduarte. Hemos experimentado momentos excepcionales, momentos mágicos y recuerdos 
creados que serán recordados con cariños y los años venideros. Henry Ford sabiamente dijo, reunirse es comienzo, mantenernos juntos es progreso y trabajar juntos es éxito. Al mirar hacia atrás a los últimos años, ciertamente hubo un comienzo y afortunadamente también hubo progreso y sí, sin lograr a dudas, hemos tenido éxito. Pero comencemos donde comienzan todas las buenas historias, al principio. Comenzamos la escuela como niños, pero nos vamos de aquí como adultos jóvenes. Hemos completado una educación secundaria que servirá como la plataforma que usamos para lanzarnos a nuestro futuro. Algunos de nosotros iremos a la universidad, otros irán directamente a la fuerza laboral, pero cada uno de nosotros viajará por su propio camino. No importa a dónde vamos o lo que hacemos, hay desafíos por delante. Lo que les pido a cada uno de ustedes es enfrentar esos desafíos directamente con la cabeza alta y el corazón abierto. No es suficiente simplemente tratar de sobrevivir en la vida. Eso no mueve al mundo hacia adelante. Debes tratar de sobresalir en todo lo que haces, esforzarse por la excelencia en cada tarea grande o pequeña. Aunque puede no ser fácil de ver, cada logro que obtienes se suma a los logros del mundo. Clase del 2020 también es conocido como su, por su resistencia. Firmes, resueltos y dedicados, todos nos mantuvimos juntos. Día a día nos sentamos en nuestro objetivo. Mantenemos juntos y trabajar juntos. Enfrentamos algunos momentos increíbles y memorables, momentos que elegimos últimasmos como escalones mientras perseguimos tenamente nuestros objetivos comunes. Ya que progreso hemos hecho. Felicidades, clase del 2020. Estás listo, dispuesto y más que capaz de comprender la atorcha que te otorgamos. El tuyo es el futuro y de ti el mundo dependrá. Que sus años venideros sigan caracterizados por la empatía, la compasión, la objetividad y el compromiso por la excelencia. Que siempre predigues con el ejemplo y trabajo duro y juegues derecho. Que tus éxitos sean muchos, tus tribulaciones sean pocas y distancias. Les deseamos todo lo que tanto merecen en los próximos años. Han sido un, un honor y un privilegio observar su progreso y éxito. El resultado final de nuestra unión, mantenernos juntos y trabajar juntos a pesar de los obstáculos a los que nos hemos enfrentado en el camino, es resu es, ese resultado final es la clase de graduación del 2020. Qué orgullosos estamos del éxito que usted, ustedes tienen, hecho con las oportunidades que se les ofrecieron. Felicidades. Estamos extra, estamos orgullosos de todos ustedes. Pathfinders for life. Un pathfinder siempre será un pathfinder. Recuerden, siempre encontrarán su camino o hacer uno. Felicidades a ustedes los graduados de esta clase muy especial.
Fremont Clause of 2020, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Quoted from Nelson Mandela, congratulations on earning your high school diploma. Your future is in front of you. Always look ahead and continue to be positive despite the roadblocks that may get in your way. Find a positive path or make one. And always remember that a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Also quoted from Nelson Mandela. So dream big and don't give up. Best wishes and best of luck to your success now and in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020, go Pathfinders.
seniors, please stand. I am proud of you and I hope for all the best for you. Ladies and gentlemen, as the principal of John C. Fremont High School, I hereby certify that these graduates have met all the requirements as set forth by the State of California and the Los Angeles Unified School District Board of Trustees. Can I please have all graduates move your tassel from your right to your left? I hereby recommend that their diplomas be confirmed. It gives me great pleasure to present the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, congratulations Pathfinders, you did it. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Justice Learning Institute I wanted to congratulate you for graduating. You got it done and you are here graduating today. We just want to say thank you and bring our friends to go ahead and do it. So this is Debo, your big brother. You seen me do the movie Friday. Now you see me talking to you. Congratulations. But let's go to college. Let's go to Cal State LA. Let's go to East LA. Let's go to these school, West LA. Let's go. Okay? Keep your focus on Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 28, all things work together for love of the Lord. Keep your focus on the king of kings, you eagles. So be eagles, fly high in the cloud. Don't be no little chicken and play in the mud. Let's go, playtime is over. Now get that camera out of my face.